so hello guys welcome back to my youtube video and in this video we are gonna install the subdomain manager okay this is a hugely requested resource for installing okay so i'm gonna do a video on this so for this you will be needing a domain and also be needing blueprint installed what is blueprint it's like an extension for your terrectal panel where you can easily install add-ons okay so i have already done the installation of blueprint if you don't have blueprint installed you can watch a video on my youtube channel it's already there and also uh, the vps i'm using is from zap hosting and it's fairly easy to install on zap hosting because you don't have to open ports and all those kind of issues so yeah there are videos on my channel you can check out those videos too so first thing first we are gonna be doing is uh, downloading this resource because I have already downloaded the resource over here okay so let's go here and I'm gonna only do uh, this okay this is uh, like some things which is given okay and this is to edit the panel and those kind of stuff so we are gonna do is blueprint installation so we're gonna just drag that file out here sorry I have to do files open let me just open this again blueprint so this is the file we need and it's already there in blueprint so we'll go here okay and we'll open edit panel file okay so we need to go and edit some stuff over here before that we need to drag and drop all the files into this folder so yeah so we'll go back to our file over here okay and we need to drop this files okay and also drop this file in the main directory so the main directory will be in your um root okay this is the root folder then var ww directile okay here so you need to get this file okay and drag it over here in here okay so i can do it directly over here because this is my local file and this is my online server files so go in here so app app see just drag and drop okay just remember not to drop it into a folder then that can be an issue when you are installing it so we had to drop this file also in there so after this file is updated okay sorry uploaded we can directly upload this file too for the automatic process to take place so that's done i'm gonna drop this file here okay that's uploaded also okay and now we'll look at the file here so we need to edit some of the things in the panel so app you see the path app services so press s on your keyboard it will get highlighted and again as uh so it's server deletion service so so we server deletion service is here okay so we'll just get it like you know divided so we need to find over here this use directile exception so control c and then control f over here oh it's here only nice um so i'll copy this line which we need to add a new line so we can do it under it's written over here okay so under the private demon this okay this line so we'll search it over here oh it's not there wait it didn't get copied nicely so yeah just just see whatever you are copying so i'm gonna paste that line carefully so uh, under yes let's paste it under over here check for the syntax also if the syntax is wrong then it will not work so i'm gonna copy this line over here from here to here here you go and we need to paste this above it so i'll just space and paste it over here and we need to go to a new folder now so it's app dot models okay so it's app m models permission 
permission.php and we need to find for WebSocket. So we'll copy this part, Control A, Control V. So it's WebSocket and we need to insert this file above. So yes, we'll insert that. Enter. Okay, uh, we need to fix the syntax over here so it matches everything over here. So description in here, here. Okay, we can just check it like this, like you know, by doing down arrow. Okay, if it's aligning. So key is also in the same place. I'm pressing tab to go in front. Okay, you can do that too. So here, yeah, that's it. And you have to do this over here. Okay, and you should be good. Okay, that's done. I will just put a space over here just to make it neat. So don't forget to save the file. I'm pressing Control S to save it. Okay. So now we need to go to our Cloudflare area. Okay. So in Cloudflare, uh, where's my browser? This is my Cloudflare area. Okay. So where you can get your token is over here. Accounts. Okay. So these are some of the accounts I have. Okay. So you need to go to account my profile. I'm not going to show you my um, email ID because this is my main email ID. So go to tokens. So here API token. Okay. And you need to generate a key over here. So I'll press view. Okay. And enter my Cloudflare password. So the password is here you go. Let's see if I remember the password view. okay we could view it so yes it's good copied okay you can put it in a notepad just so that you don't lose it so i'm just gonna keep it like that okay and later on you need to do one more thing okay very very important you need to go to your panel okay go to admin nodes select the node and go to your allocation and you need to add the allies okay so the my ally is node dot sorry not node it's wing dot coconut sorry c did not come through so it's coconut please dot link okay this is the domain and you need to put it like this uh, where i got it from i'm using the domain for my configuration so here in the settings as you can see here so wing dot coconut page dot link so you need to put it same or you can put anything as long as it points to this ip you can put it in your domain as a a record so we'll do that and now we are gonna put it here too so the server i have i'll give it like a extra allocation okay additional ports here you go okay we have assigned like a additional port to it let's go back to our node we'll put it in like some more also here you go okay we have assigned two ports now successfully so now we need to go back to our documentation or oh, we need to run the file before that so in order to you know get all the things done so we need to go in this path okay so cd that path paste okay and then we need to run this command over here if you have installed blueprint correctly then it will work otherwise it will not work so i'm installing it now so now we have done half of the installation so i'm gonna press yes for this and we are done installing so now you need to go back to your panel okay and kind of reload this area and you can see here is subdomain manager go press on it and we need to add our email my email is this okay in my cloud player so i'm gonna just add it and my api key i'll just see which one i have over here copy it and then paste it here max we are gonna give only one per server okay and then we're gonna create a new domain over here so that you know people can use that 
the settings which we were put in over there they didn't get saved so we're gonna save it again later on okay so the domain we are using is um play, uh, coconut link dot link it is so yeah so paper and for minecraft is this okay so you, you need to just uh, copy it like from here only so for example it's here minecraft so we're gonna put lovely minecraft directly over here as it's mentioning over here okay as the protocol for paper so the protocol we will use is tcp okay for minecraft and then we are gonna press create okay that's done and now we'll add our credentials over here um maximum subdomain is one so we're gonna add that okay and everything looks good over here okay and if everything is good you will see your email id and your api key and all those kind of stuff so let's go to the minecraft server really quick okay and let me launch minecraft by the time it opens up okay so as you can see if you can see over here already okay this is showing up but we need to create a subdomain right so you need to go here for that to happen we need to start a server first okay let me launch this minecraft server it will take some time so i have deleted uh, one which i didn't wanted to use so i'm gonna add new so alt tab and now we go back to our subdomain manager okay we can give it as like um uh, play with coconut plays dot link okay that looks good so we're gonna create one and if everything works fine we should be able to connect with this domain okay and we can see it in our cloudflare let me just select the domain really quick so as you can see it's created automatically over here okay so that's a good sign that it's created automatically and now what we are gonna do is we just gonna paste the ip over here so play with coconut place.com or sorry dot link and as you can see the server is pingable and if i join the server and i am inside the server now because this is the first time i'm booting in the server that's why it's taking time and also the server is very far from me it's in germany so yeah it's gonna take a bit of time so i'm gonna show you the panel over here as you can see over here i have joined it shows okay uh, i'm in the server and looks like it's a pretty decent spawn the render distance and all those kind of things is like a bit not set up so yeah so uh, that was it for this video guys and see you guys in the next video if you have any more suggestions like this like any add-on you know or any developer who makes this kind of fun add-ons for your directile panel please let me know in the comment box below or join my discord and put it in the suggestion channel so that i can make videos on this so thank you very much and i will see you in the next video till then tata bye bye and stay safe